Well, we have our long-time partners. Uh, UNESCO has been with us at FOSS Asia for 10 years, so let me introduce you to the, uh, the Ms. Misako Ethels from UNESCO. Thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, and uh, thank you for the introductions. Uh, welcome to uh, the first uh, Open Tech Summit in Thailand, which is for the first time, uh, co-organized uh, with uh, Force Asia and UNESCO and uh, kindly hosted by uh, the National Innovation Agency. So we have a long-standing uh, relationship with uh, Force Asia. Uh, UNESCO has been uh, one uh, key UN agency supporting the free and open source software from uh, more than 10 years. And we have been also supporting the communities. And so in that uh, presentation, I would like to introduce why, uh, why we are supporting that and why uh, free and open source software is so relevant for the new sustainable development agenda uh, 2030. Okay, so uh, you may probably know that uh, UNESCO is uh, a UN agency that was uh, created at the end of the Second World War after having seen all these uh, horror related to uh, the Second World War with the beautiful mandate to create peace in the mind of men and women. And we do that through education, science, culture and communications. And we have a very, very important mandate in our constitution, which is here, which is to promote the free flow of ideas by word and images and maintain and increase and diffuse knowledge, which is really at the heart of the spirit uh, behind, uh, behind the force. And uh, so our work is, uh, in the area of software uh, has uh, started uh, 20 years ago where we actually, UNESCO has been developing free and open source software a uh, long time ago in the area of data management, data mining, statistics. Uh, one of the most famous one is uh, CDS ISIS, which was for library, small library management. And then we started to advocate for free and open source software supporting the communities. And now we are really applying the principles and the model which are behind the free and open source software across the organization, within the organizations. And uh, we believe that the free and open source software will be more and more uh, important and relevant with the adoption of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, because uh, sustainable development requires to integrate into any uh, company's business model the concern for the environment and also the concern for the society, which is uh, such as you know, waste management, the use of natural resources, uh, inclusion, gender equality, uh, diversity uh, and the social condition of uh, of uh, of staff, etc. So why uh, why force is so relevant for sustainable development? Because as you, you all know, it requires partnerships not only within the organization but. Uh, with external group which leads to innovations, new ideas. There is also uh, the culture of contribution which is very much deep in uh, force which also ensures the stability and longevity of the project because it it's depends on us to, uh, to make it sustainable and to sustain. It's not locking in, uh, in the hand of few, uh, few people. Uh, there is also a return of, on investment uh, from the collaborators through the use, reuse, the, the, uh, the adaptations. And UNESCO is actually uh, applying those principles and values which are the core of uh, uh, behind force uh, within our organization. So let me uh, present you some of the activities. So we have been already uh, doing, uh, I guess, um, yes, two or three hackathons uh, 
uh, at Force Asia Summit, where we provided opportunities uh, um, to meet, discuss, and collaborate with diverse groups. The last hackathon uh, we did was we managed uh, Force Asia bring the community of open tech de developers and UNESCO uh, brought some indigenous participants to, to, to find together some solution to the, uh, to the, um, to the linguistic diversity and uh, the need to safeguard uh, indigenous languages. And we did that for the International Year of Indigenous Languages, uh, which is uh, this year. We also support uh, the, the building of uh, the coding skill amongst the young generations. And uh, we, this is the initiative that is, uh, we do that through uh, Youth Mobile Initiative, where we also support uh, the, the use of uh, free and open source software. And UNESCO also released all our publication through uh, under the open access policy, which means that anything that UNESCO produce, you can copy, paste, uh, translate, use it. As far as you bring back, you inform UNESCO and you bring back to the global communities as a global commons. So we are the first uh, UN agencies uh, doing that. We also promote uh, the, the principle of openness on internet development. And uh, tomorrow we will be hosting a workshop on uh, internet assessment based on UNESCO's uh, agreed indicators, uh, which is called the Indicators for Internet Universality, which actually based on four key principles for a, need, for a healthy internet ecosystem, which can work for everybody. And we say that the internet should be uh, human right based, uh, open, based on open standards, provide opportunities for uh, small enterprises to grow, uh, accessible in terms of um, accessibility for marginalized groups, uh, people with disabilities, uh, women and girls, and any decision relating to the internet should be driven by multi-stakeholder participation. So we will be uh, presenting uh, tomorrow, uh, starting at night in UNESCO workshop, where you are all uh, welcome to, to come, the, the assessment framework and how we uh, are applying that to the case of uh, internet development in Thailand. And we uh, also, as part of our, um, our mandate to promote uh, free, free access to uh, free and open source software, we also promote the preservations and access to software source code as a heritage because uh, we believe uh, in the importance of preserving uh, source code from the past, uh, which contain uh, the knowledge and the intelligence uh, of uh, developers for, to make them available for future generations. There is no such a library in the area of uh, software source code, like you, know, you can find it uh, in, uh, in other scientific areas. So this is a new initiative, which is uh, led by colleague, my colleague in Paris, uh, David Estolti. And we also uh, promote every year, it was uh, last uh, Saturday, the International Day for Universal Access to Information, which is traditionally known as the Right to Know Day. So it provides uh, opportunities for people to uh, to, to mobilize for their own right to access to information, whether it is uh, governmental information or any public information held by public bodies. And yes, and uh, that's it. Thank you uh, very much. <laughs>